Okay. I'm going to go into nodes and I'm just going to really just outline what each one does and then later I'll do little demonstrations. So the shot list node, let me just delete that, can be found here, shot manager, shot list. This is really the most important node. It's actually necessary for um, some of the other nodes to actually work and uh, has multiple features here you can see that there's a render path displayed here and there's a path format input so what this means is you can create your own uh, file path um, rather than using the default root folder dash shot uh, by creating a path constructor node you can then plug in uh, a string essentially um, so now your files will be rendered to this path uh, they will still retain the, um, the shot name uh, which you can see up here cube dash cube underscore Taurus dash Taurus underscore so it's using the shot name in this case if I choose root folder it will use the one exactly the same uh, directory that I've chosen here and you can also change it here plug that into your path now it's going to go root shot name and when I select a shot can see here it has my root folder which is to output Taurus Taurus perhaps I want a custom name in there you can do that too just type in and now we have uh, root shot test and then the name of the shot uh, you can do this for camera and for the blend file name which is useful if you're um, working in iterations you can also group these these view layer save slots are essentially the same as what's going on here when you click save so let me just um, clear to demonstrate this But it gives you greater control so if i want to enable the torus hit save but then i realize actually i do also want to enable the suzanne you can do that here now a slot without a camera just an empty empty slot um, means it will default to whatever setting you have in uh, where are we settings unsaved layers default so by default that one will be off so in some cases you either want to um, keep this on off or actually save this as, as not renderable okay what now what happens if a view layer goes missing so normally uh, let me just delete this one normally when you refresh this you get outdated update and you only have the option to update and to override your slots entirely <coughs> excuse me uh, with this node you can actually choose what you want to do with that slot so you can remove it or you can remap it to another empty uh, slot so maybe I want to remap it because I've actually renamed it. The issue is um, there's no way of determining whether a view layer has been deleted or renamed. So here it gives you the option to choose and it'll apply over um, each shot. Okay, another feature I want to show you is to separate view layers so enabling this will basically create an output per view layer that has been saved for that shot 
So if it's this one, it only has this empty, well, nameless view layer, and it will be output to the the path, the base path that is determined here. Uh, oh, I've got this enabled. Whereas this one has two saved states. If I you know, add more, um, it'll output uh, for each view layer. Separate passes um, creates multiple file output nodes. And uh, now, please note that these are like generative. So if you change anything here, it's not going to be saved the moment you change anything uh, in your shot. Um, they're, they're sort of generated on the fly. Um, but you can see here uh, what's going on. Um, at the moment, they're only outputting the image pass. And I have alpha and depth excluded. Let me just expand this a bit. Uh, perhaps we do want alpha. It'll be just a black and white image. And so now they're added as slots per output. Uh, this refresh will refresh these in case uh, you've changed something here. So um, mm, I need one with cycles. Okay. So this doesn't have any saved states. Let me save a few. Um, view layer. Okay. Direct, indirect. So these connections haven't been made. Um, so just hit refresh and they'll be made. Uh, before I forget, I should also show uh, sync output paths. What does this mean? It's only available if you're not using um, separate view layers and you're creating your own uh, outputs file output manually. And you just want this base path to sync up with uh, whatever your, you know, your custom path is or your root folder. And so it ends up in more or less the same place as composite based on your shot subfolders. So, or whatever, maybe you've got, um, you know, maybe you've got camera subfolders or something. So using sync output paths, we'll simply update that path for you for any number of um, outputs.